Go shouty, it's your birthday I got a hundred niggas with me and they don't play I'm bringing that noise like I'm in life Go shay, see them hoes twerking All a nigga really gon' say We get it poppin' in the club We get it rockin' in the club Speakers knockin' in the club Keep a hatin' nigga hard stoppin' in the club Hey, I slide in the club with my jewelry on Smiling at the haters like, oh, we on Get it poppin' from the club to the studio To the big screen, nigga, cut my move on Boy, I told you don't try me My name been heavy in the streets since the 90s I'm married to the mob, rest in peace, John got it Surviving dead bodies just to keep the mob rising I only fuck with real niggas and go killers Fuck all the whole niggas and broke niggas You yeah, already know when the club we get it poppin' We niggas pocket watchin' I cock it, show em I got it Then I go, go shout it, it's your birthday I got a hundred niggas with me and they don't play I'm bringin' that noise like I'm in life Go shay, see them hoes twerkin' all a nigga really gon' Way out. 
That's the easiest way I possible. Torture their ass while they're locked away. I don't give a fuck if you torture them, but I don't know. You really never know what's until they hit home. You, 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 in some cases, say you got a toddler and this motherfucker just came, killed that little toddler, cut him up in pieces, burned him in the oven, just did some excruciating shit before raping and, 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 and torturing him. You got, you got to be so-and-so. Killing isn't, isn't. And I'm not going to use my money to keep this motherfucker up. If you kill killer. I don't want to support a killer. You got no chances of getting out of here. I don't want my heart on you. You might as well get killed too because now you're killing someone. I'm not killing nobody. Who is that? That's what I'm saying. Whoever, yeah, but you're the one who inserting that needle in them. That's why I'm not on jury Therefore, I feel like if you're going to put someone on the death sentence, you might as well be killed as well. What makes you all different? The you looking that he, at that you had a you looking at it religious? You looking at it re- I'm religious? Religious? I'm not looking at it religious. Look, no one's authorized to take another person out of this world. I agree with that. You know what I'm saying? No one has to take a, the right to take a life. But that's the that's the that's why they on the murder on the murder trial now because they took somebody's life. Right. So a so life for a life. A yeah. life for a life. Maybe you got to go. Like, I feel like whoever. If it wasn't like, self defense. Whoever, if you if you partake. And that death sentence, that death, however they do it, you need to be killed as well because you're killing someone, so why should you be killed? So every judge that sentence to death sentence got Not the judge, because the judge is not the one sitting there killing them. Whoever is inserting that needle or, or putting it, doing that sponge shit, that's a job. Yeah. Okay, well, they job need to be, they need to get killed too. You killing somebody? What makes you different? Oh, because they deserve to, they deserve it. So they, we should make the people do their own needle. <laughs> 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 and I just feel like like to, torture them, like let them sit in jail. Don't I think? I no, because they're not that. torture. So, they eat good, they sleep good. That's not. Torture. Girl, they don't be feeding the people. That's not. They, they don't matter. They, they still, still be. Eating. They still doing what they, the person they took is not able to do. And guess what? You think that's going to bring any justice or any any peace to that family, knowing that the other person is dead? A lot, no. a lot, yeah, yeah. It's not going to make. Your child or your relative, your friend is still gonna be gone. And I still no matter what, no matter what, you can as long as that person is like everybody saying. Life for life. Kill somebody to get killed. That's how I see it. So a lot of these motherfuckers a lot of motherfuckers in in prison that's not on the death sentence and they'll kill somebody. Y'all they lucky. A life for life. They're doing what they should be doing. They're lucky. They, I, they, I just don't. I just don't see any justification. They ended somebody's yeah. life. Why should somebody end their life? Yes. It was. Right. I don't. I don't see nobody killing anybody if it's not self defense. But the motherfucker not trying yeah, to I'm harm not you. I don't see I'm it. I'm not justifying so, killing. I don't y'all lucky. They, y'all lucky. Right. Y'all ain't on the deal sick. I feel shit. Like no offense. Like, right. No, I take it. No, I take it. You got to. You killers got to go. You know. I. You know. I ain't gonna. No, 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 no. You motherfuckers at all? You got. You got somebody that they killed somebody. Oh, that dude does all these crimes. Yeah, every kill kill all, get a, every they want to holler, free this person, free that person. Are you stupid, bitch? No, I understand it's your family, it's your friend, but free them after taking another life? After committing all these crimes, free them? No, what you think they're supposed to just get off scot free? Go do it again? Maybe it might be your ass. They might flip on you next. That's crazy. Free this person, free that person when, when you know that they committed a crime. You know that they've taken a life and you still yelling free them. Oh, that nigga was talking shit to him first. What? What? And I got to the point where it's real. It, it's, yeah, if people shoot, people just over nothing. Yeah, I, I, and I, I, you so, know, you I hate know, it, I hate it, I hate it. Right, so. There's a lot of deaths going on that shouldn't be, that could easily be This, a, this is a sketchy subject because at the same time, I am anti-government. I do hate the prison system. The prison I hate system it. is meant to keep, keep uh, African American male people down because they are predominantly filled with. Uh, how do I put this? Not of the white ethnicity. And yeah, they lock out black men about the most petty shit. Right, and make an example though. But now, on the other hand, when you got the cocaine, Americans doing some major shit. I don't give you all Oh, they gonna stop them on their wrist. They gonna let them go. Right. And then when we talk about it, we wrong. Are you seeing that, that um, case? Um, the nigga, uh, each had posted on her page of the like this. Uh-huh. It fool killed two of his roommates in Daytona. The boy got 
go for hours because then that leads into the religious part of this. So, you know, get killers and stuff get to go to heaven. And then the Bible says, if you repent, all your sins wash away, boom, you square with God. It's, if you live another day, you could go to heaven. So now if you don't kill 50 people, all you got to do is say, Lord, I ain't really mean to kill these motherfuckers. I really ain't really mean to take these 50 people. But when like, you repent, you got to mean it. Repenting isn't just saying They can sorry. mean it. They can mean it. And, and they can really mean it. Well, they and now while I'm sitting eating the feast at the last supper with this motherfucking bass murder. Well, you know, there's a lot of. I'm, I'm in heaven with him. There's a lot you of debate. You see what you Christians do? There's a lot of, there's a lot of debate with, with religion these days. Even amongst Christians, um, you know, they're venturing off into their own little groups and stuff, you know. You got you ever seen the motherfuckers walking around in them purple little dresses? Like, I, I don't go shit. to church. And ain't in church, right? They be out in the community and they be standing on the street. Nope, never seen it, no. They be having swords and shit. And they be preaching their word and talking about the Oh, you talking about the little makeup on? Yeah, them motherfuckers right there. You know, so that's fucking aggravated. Right. That's like Ooh, the pressing your religion on somebody. Right, that motherfucker I hate you. motherfuckers out there with the megaphone. Give your life to Christ. Did you hear a motherfucker say, y'all demons? A motherfucker, when I went to class, they were not there and gave pride. They were not there and gave pride. I said, how are you going to try to pull somebody closer to your God and you sit here calling people demons? You can't call nobody a demon and expect them to come unto thee. No, no, no. See, that's the problem, Christian. Y'all don't you know how to reach. See how the conversation reach. go all the way left? It can go left, right, yeah. up, back. Lord, yes for the devil. Yes yeah, for the devil saying this, bitch, you got to die. Talking about you ain't kill nobody, bitch, you straight lie. You a killer. <laughs> <laughs> Machine to put the needle in the arm. Boom. Well, problem solved. All you gotta do is have a machine sitting right next to the chair for the insert into the arm, and then the machine. Yeah, that's like I want me a machine by my bed that I could just like it got like an arm thing and just bring whatever on my dresser right here. It just bring it right to me. That's I just lazy. Turn my TV off. No, that's it lazy. just bring it up. I mean, so it's so that's lazy, but a motherfucking machine to be by the thing, and it's it's the same thing, man. You got any more comments? For non-take, non-offense, uh, non-take, sick. I'm not racist. That's what. <laughs> I've been wanting to for years. Now I ain't got nothing else to say, though. You got anything else to say? So I'm guessing that's it for the non-offense, non-take it. Talk to us, let you lie, not let you, but let us know how you feel about it, huh? Eh? At talkyourtalk at gmail.com. <laughs> Ho, ho, ho. We got a little story. Let's see what we have here. Twas the night before Christmas. Duval remix. Twas the night before Christmas. And all through the internet. Not a keyboard was typing. Not even a Mac. All except Wu. Who had Mrs. Carl sucking her strap from the back. Down the chimney, here comes Santa Claus. Soon as he hit the bottom, he heard a noise, so he stopped and took a pause. He took a mosey wosey around, only to find Wu beating Mrs. Claus back to the ground. In shock, he bursted out. Oh, Miss Santa! Need no time, he went and got the Draco out of Prancer. Went back to the bedroom just to say, click a cat kick cat it could have been you. Turned to Mrs. Claus and said, how could you? You said never again after Scrooge. Mrs. Claus replied, I'm sorry, Santa, but you don't lay it down like you used to anymore. And I needed someone to treat me like Santa's little whore. What do you think I got that Viagra for? Santa threw his hands in the air and then killed the both of them too. Then fled the scene using his sleigh that was on the roof. 
Dun in. Sound to sound like a G from the Bible. Twas the night for Chris. Duval edition. Now tuned in to the Grab Your Mic segment of the show. Right now, here today, we have with us the artist Young Dread herself. Yeah, Welcome young. to the show, brother. Uh, you know how I fuck with you, I reckon. So, uh, I already know what time it is. So, cool, I'm going to let you go and kick this off. All right, who is, what, what is Y&M? Young Dread, Y&M, I know it used to be. It's a good question. Young Dread, what's that? Uh, Y&M uh, really originated probably a couple of years ago, about three or four years ago. Started off as young nigga music, but just last year I had to fix that because, you know, nigga ain't trying to be on the young nigga shit. So, end up changing the name to Young and Motivated, so. Young and Motivated. Young and Motivated. Do that in the front of my name, and that's what it is. So, how long have you seriously been doing your music? I've been seriously doing my music for about 10 years, uh, since the age of, i say about 19, 20. Shit, I've been taking off from there, uh, consistent with it, man, you know. Uh, what's, what's some of your projects that's done to go? Sorry to interrupt. Oh, you good, you good. Uh, Rest of My Love was one of the first singles that I had dropped. As one a of solo my favorite. As a solo <laughs> artist. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I also uh, worked with her on the uh, cast of Temptation, and I used a lot of her music in the web series. So that's yeah. dope. That's one of my favorite songs, too. Right, right. So that, that one came out in 2016. I ended up dropping an EP, a mixtape, Rest of My Love EP. 2016. It's on thatpiff.com, and uh, the drip I just did uh, in May of this year. So, um, been trying to work on these singles, man, to put them out. The next up is handle that uh, video. And the album dropping one one, 2019 New Year. So y'all check that out. It's gonna so be everywhere. I heard that's invite only. <laughs> got mine already. Oh yeah, yeah. The release party uh, on the 30th. Is, I got yeah, mine. Definitely, I'm definitely. Yeah, yeah. So what was me your hardest? obstacle yet fighting for your dream i say the hardest but i'm i'm, I'm just not starting to get the, the hang of it is being consistent that's the that's the hardest part of it you know sometimes if it it could be overwhelming sometimes when you're trying to put music out there and get your following up and, you know and have to invest in yourself and stuff so being consistent is the is the main part but i'm getting better work in everyday life yeah yeah so we, ain't, we ain't made it yet right right i got my we do this on top of still working a 40 hour week Right, right. What, right. What's been your funnest moment? Uh, the funnest moment is the, the, the performances and, uh, and and dropping videos. I really say all of it, really. Uh, it ain't even going in the studio dropping a song, but basically the performances and uh, videos. Yeah. You feel like uh, when you on stage, when you going out there, is it some? It, what's the? Is it like an adrenaline rush for you? Is it like? Yeah. <laughs> moment for you, it's a nervous moment for you. It, it used to be when I first started. When I first started at 19 and 20 and doing open mic and shit, my first time having to perform in front, in front of people at World, I used to have to get fucked up in order to perform. It's a nerve, bro. Yeah, yeah, but I didn't got so used to it now. It's more like comfortable. Like you comfortable. get more confident yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you got, you got a pretty good stage presence about yourself. That's because you got experience, you know what I'm saying? So, you have experience or something. Who would you say support you the most? Your LGBT community or your, your straight community? I would mostly say, I would say the LGBT. Um, and that's what, and that's even with MA. Like, the LGBT gonna ride for you. You gonna have some niggas, some straight boys, some straight girls. But majority of the fact, it will be LGBT. I know that. Yeah, LGBT can take over the world. Right? Oh yeah, None yeah. Cause I'll, I'll yeah, follow my girl. I'll LGBT following along is big enough. You know what I mean? It's it's big. You know what I mean? We got our own. We got straight and you got LGBT. We out though. <laughs> but at the same time, see, we listen to all the same music. Right, yeah, right. People listen to, you know, Luchi, you know, uh, Tokyo. Yeah, people listen to that shit. So it ain't no gender or no yeah, yeah, homosexual yeah, 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 yeah. on music. You know and I just mean? don't, and I don't base my music just off of LGBT. Like, if we listen to a nigga music, it's for everybody. Like, you know what I mean? You can relate to it, it's for everybody. I don't necessarily say I'm a dyke. I'm out here eating pussy and fucking with straps. I'm, <laughs> you know, right, 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 right. So, yo. Yeah. You got a lot of different, like, look, grooves and vibes. All your music don't sound the same, which is pretty dope. Yeah. Versa Ooh. Versatility. Who would you say um, inspires you in the music world? Nobody. 
<laughs> Nobody. I, I, I honestly, green. I honestly don't listen to other rappers, and I don't listen to other music like that. Like I, I, I listen. Like if I go to the club, I hear it. If I get in somebody else's car, I hear it. But I don't, I don't have it on my phone and be on my car and like I'm gonna play this playlist because right. it's. It's so easy to get influenced by the sound that's going on. Like, y'all ever notice how y'all, everybody sound the same? Yeah. I don't, <laughs> listen, to I don't uh, listen to none of it. You want to take what what me to the trap? Right, right. <laughs> but I, T.I. used to be. T.I. used to be. I like rubber band, man. Okay. I'm I my young baby. Well, who would you? Yeah, yeah. Would it be? Them real team they day team. back in the back room. T.I. So, and you think it's hard uh, trying to make it out of Duval? You are a Duval artist. As far as trying to come up in the city alone it could be because there's nothing here to get you to that point people can say they could do stuff for you but they really can't but it, expanding your network which is out of town reach that's when you can get the hell up out of Duval because Duval alone can't really you know we done seen it with oh, the Tokyo name stays home <laughs> you know what I'm saying but you know I, like I said I done been here years and years I done ran across a lot of people here that can say they can do stuff and, you know, you do it on your own. You get, you get something seen to hurt on your own. I feel like the only way you can fail is if you give up. <laughs> right, right. See, right, right. No matter where you at. Right, right. So, what happened to the ass? That lead me to the question. Out of all your songs, can you pick a favorite? You got a personal favorite? Um, I, I, psh, a lot of my songs be favorite to me because I like them as soon as I do them. But when I do new songs, I started like them, and I don't listen to the old shit. You know what I'm saying? So, Cause I it's really like you get favorite. better song after song. Right, right. I feel you, I feel you. Like that's, not, that's how love. I did with the, the, the uh, Temptation. I was like, y'all don't watch episode one. Just keep good. Because, mm. you know, as we, we got better and better with that. So, right. you know, I kind of like the end ones because I was getting into my more door. You know, I got the feel for it. Uh, I got the thing on. I feel myself. That's right. what I understand. Right. So, if I listen to music in, like, 2010 that I made, I would, like, be like, what the fuck? Like, you know what I mean? Love life looking. Steady. I'm dating. I'm dating still. That mean, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hopping that in. <laughs> Don't do it. Yeah, yeah. Don't do it. But it's more it's more like I'm dating and stuff, but I'm still focusing on what's in front of me. You know Is it I mean? hard to keep a, a love life and do this at the same time? It's definitely not because the, the, the your mate, what I had to learn is your mate have to be there with you regardless. I mean, if you can't follow my focus or see my vision or you know what I mean you notice what I'm going after don't, don't fuck with me well how old you is again you 30 yeah you on that you on that we're ready to settle down you on that mm -hmm. your relationship you shouldn't stop your grind and your focus exactly so they mate should be should have right motivated you or only make it better right right right, right. y'all get motivated right right so uh any more questions as we bring this up this grab your mic segment to the end if there's anything you can tell your fans tell them how to reach you anything you want to say if you want to spit a ball it's all you all right, um, yeah, like I say, man, y'all can find me anywhere. You know, you can Google me. Um, I'm, I'm on all social media platforms, um, all music platforms. It's Y N M Y U N G D R E D. Um, shit, that's basically about it. Just follow me. You know what I'm saying? Uh, go, go follow my uh, music pages and stuff like that, and, and, and download my music and stuff like that, man. You know, and I guess I spit a bar. I spit the rest of my love. <laughs> Since that's what it is. I know sometimes it might seem hard. We were a bit friend right from the start. I gave you my soul. I gave you my world. I gave you my heart. I knew you were far from the rest. Hey, shit, I gave you the best. But you cheated me over and over and over, just like a test. But baby, I must confess, I never lied to you. I kept it 100. I did that time for you. Was ready to ride for you. Shit. Fuck it, but what can I do to keep this real? Should I just leave? Should I just chill? I mean, for real, I could play dumb and just keep the deal the cause of the doubt. No feelings love here for myself. No feelings love here for you. You can go ahead and play fool and down a full bottle of Hennessy. Talking about me, you and Hennessy. No sense allowed for the remedy. Hopefully, silly me past the agility. Got the ability up and just kill it. Be cooling instead. Glock now close to my head. Nah, I ain't in enough dead. If anything, it's gonna be you. Duck, take tired of you for all that you put me through. But nothing was ever relevant. Get rid of evidence, but I'ma represent. Rest in peace, bitch. You oh. never cared about the rest of my love. love. Hey, you never cared about, about the rest. Why well, no, man? It's a with the art. You, you never cared, cared about the rest of my love. You, you never, never cared, cared about, about the rest. The rest. <laughs> Hey, you just heard it live from your dread on Talk Your Talk. I, know, man. I appreciate you for coming on the show, man. I appreciate yeah, you talking with me. You're a hard worker. Sure. Keep appreciate grinding, it, young queen. Yeah, man. Grab your mic, segment. Tune in. Email us to Talk Your Talk.
at gmail.com. If you have any questions for Young Dread fan mail, we'll get it to them. If you're trying to get you an interview, if you know somebody that you think should be interviewed, somebody who on their grind, they, they out here getting it, they out here pushing. Well, honey, y'all know what to do. Yes! Yeah, you at the holler back segment. Ain't no holler back, girl. Got the fan mail for y'all. All right, first up, we got Jasmine from Arkansas. Shout Woo -hoo. out to Arkansas. One time. She asked us who, do we think people are born gay? Good question. What you think? Yes. I was about to say, bitch, I was born yes. gay, baby. There ain't no way in I, I was gay before I even knew what gay meant. And I promise <laughs> you, I had no gay people in the family. Didn't know what lesbian meant, none of that. And I knew I, I wanted to be daddy when we played house. I was hunting the hell you know, out of my cousin. Yeah. Cousin. She went, she went right, one well, of my real cousins, cousins, yeah. So, you know, I like little girls from when I was a little girl. So, definitely think people could be born here. What about you? Oh, shit. I know people born here. I'm just saying to think about that. Me and that little girl was hunching, hunching. So, you know, I'm talking about. You know, they used to call me hunching, hunching. <laughs> hell, yeah. I, you know, I think people are born. You're absolutely born gay. Like, hell. Like I said, I was when I was a little girl playing house. I was with a daddy, and we were hunching, hunching. You hear me? I was cross-dressing at a very young age. I was going to do it in front of my people, like I said. Well, my people weren't having that shit. But when they went around, I was in my daddy's and my brother's clothes like a fuck. When I was when I was at the daycare, I was talking about, I ain't going to say no name because they might look at me a little different. But the ladies that was working at the daycare and stuff, I had me a little crush. I used to always be with them. Like, I was one of everybody's well, favorites. I had the biggest crush on my seventh grade basketball coach, Miss Richardson. Good lord. Oh, my goodness. What? What? Hey, I'm fine, that lady. Demetri Richardson. You gonna find Tune in. I still like coolers. <laughs> What's our next fan mail, bro? Shit, next fan mail. Um, let me look at my notes. I, I thought I remember, but I can't. It's from DeAndra, a.k.a. Red. What happened, Red? Red from Texas. I'm trying to get to Texas, you feel me? Yeah. Right, Stars at night are big and bright. Deep down in Texas. What we got? <laughs> and that's just it's what wild. they'll do. Yeah. One of these oh. days, these boots are going to walk right over there. All right, so Red, want, uh, whoever loses rock, paper, scissors, got to cut their dress. What? Say that again. <laughs> you tripping, tripping, my boy. Right. Whoever lose, whoever lose, rock paper scissors See, gotta cut their dress. Your country has kill yourself. <laughs> what kind of what kind of ways is that? I don't even want to play the game with that. Oh fuck Look, no. I, my shit ain't nowhere near no as woos, and I ain't trying to cut these. This babies. is a journey. This is like part of man, bro. You, bro Crazy cut journey. your nuts off. How about that? <laughs> Like cut your dick off. That's a girl. How she right. Cut her dick if these off? get all the holes, cut my dress. What the fuck is this got, bitch luck up and win? You got it fucked up. <laughs> yeah, these. I, don't, I can't say these get me holes, but shit. I can't cut my babies. I'll no. be wanting to get dressed. You out the red. You need to think of another one to come again. Yeah. Right? Somebody else tell us. Give yeah. us the give us the more bets for uh, whoever wins this rock paper scissors challenge. Woo up three to one right now, but I'm gonna bounce back. Yeah, come back. Yeah, did. Gonna shit. have catch up because the mustard. <laughs> And you must eat. Nigga, must eat. I, must eat. Oh, I always that. fresh. I, <laughs> I can do a dub commercial. <laughs> I can do a dub commercial. Dirty ass, lip ass. Long neck. I don't want to write wrong. Okay, yeah, we get it. <laughs> I don't even want to write wrong. All right, but uh, if you got some fan mail, you want to shout to your uh, city, your, t your uh, state out, send all your fan mail to talkyourtalk at gmail.com. Again, that's talkyourtalk at gmail.com. We'll holler back. Yeah, All right, so now we're going to go ahead and get right to it. The tip of the day, the tip of the week, the tip of that you need, goddamn, oh, of the right. season. So you need to know. It, it's the very, it's the it's very, important. it's the perfect topic because the season is among us. Here's the season to be jolly. La, 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 don't be la, flaw. La. Don't be flawed being go spending all that rent money, all that bill money on the equipment gift. God damn it, I say. You always be in competition with each other. Hey, I'm just up back. Just get your, 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 your Christmas tree full. And then you got no rent money on these children home. This is a white man's big business holiday. Please, you do this shit. Three, two, three or 27, how many days is it? 352, how many days it is in a year? 
You do this shit year round. Don't do it off of Christmas, baby. Not beat yourself up trying to run into these people's store, give them all your moolah. They done came up on your ass. Just, just get your chair something that you do all fucking year. That you should do all fucking year. Your kids, your your spouse, your, oh, you're right. your mate, your motherfucking girlfriend, your boyfriend, your cousin, your auntie, your mama, them. It don't motherfucking matter. Don't go spending all your bill money on motherfucking Christmas. Period. Do what matters the most. I probably do this materialistic stuff, this clothes shit, all that shit you wrap up and put on a tree. It'll still be though. And, if you and well, they mark it down the next day for Black Friday. Come on now. These people using us. If you're going to do this holiday, make it about love. Make it about family. Love. Roast some nuts on an open fire. Why do you gotta roast nuts? Roast the damn turkey or something. Marshmallow, brown, s'more. I don't give a damn. Tell what some story, do? right? Tell some story. Come, come as one. But don't make this materialistic, cause that's what we're doing nowadays. It's who bought this and who did this. I bought my tree, everything on that Christmas list. Who give a good goddamn? And your kids gonna still be showing their ass right. in the fucking schools, and you still not gonna take it. Let me right. tell you they something. They still gonna have all the Let me have some motherfucking kids and these kids showing their ass. I'm taking everything. I don't give a fuck. You're gonna wear bow bows. They cost a dollar ninety nine. Bobos, they, they make your feet feel fine. I don't give a Bobos. fuck what the next motherfucking child got on. I don't give a fuck how you gonna feel in school. I don't give a fuck who gonna bully you. Get what? If you had better grades, they wouldn't be able to bully your motherfucking ass. They wouldn't be able to talk about that shit. Now, I am against bullying, but kids running shit about shoes. So you gonna be feeling real dumb. I'm gonna tell you one thing. I'm gonna leave you with this. They say, F. <laughs> this one, they say, F is for fool. I ain't no motherfucking fool. My kids ain't gonna be no motherfucking fools. D me, you're dumb. See me, you're crazy because you could have got an A or B. Now, me, y'all know what I say, C's get degrees. But encourage your kids to get them grades. Let them know they ain't no fool. They ain't dumb and they damn ain't crazy. Period. And that was our tip for the day. You just tuned in with Talk Your Talk with Cooley and Woody. Y'all check back in next week and see what we got for you.